Hey guys, it's gonna be a video on the new, um, well, recently the new um, iPhone iPod Touch software update came out, 3.1.2, and this video is gonna show you all the new, different, and hidden features of this up, um, software update. Now, um, I have my iPod Touch, as you can see here, um, recently updated um, well, a couple of days ago, so the new 3.1.2 version. Alright now I'm just going to go through each of the apps um, and show all the new features. Now um, this is what the home screen looks like with the new 3.1.2 version. See the icons are in different places um, and an add-on as you can see there is the voice memos. And to use that you will need the headphones with um, the microphone. Um, same, everything else is the same, you got App Store, Safari, um, music, videos, settings, iTunes, notes, clock, calculator, weather, maps, stocks, YouTube, mail, calendar, photos, and contacts. Now, um, the first thing you might notice is, as you can see down at the dots, the one on the very left down there is one of a magnifying glass. And that is if you um, scroll to the left, a search thing, uh, uh, a search page comes up. So you've got your search bar up there, you can type in the keyboard down there, and you can type in um, if you want to search for an app, um, a song, a uh, video, a contact, a mail, uh, email you received, or anything on the whole iPod. You just type in anything, and um, obviously you'll search, and I type in something random, so it says no results. But um, yeah, and simply just to go back, swipe back to the main menu. Um, yeah, um, so that's the first feature you might notice. Alright, the mail app, same icon, click on it, not much of a difference, the only difference is, um, really, um, uh, search bar, as you can see there, and, um, yeah, we thought everything else sent, um, comes up with the search bar, and, um, yeah, I did notice it's got, um, it does have push notifications with this update, so it checks for emails more frequently. But um, it is quicker to check for new emails and um, send and receive. So that's one difference. Um, the YouTube app, same thing. But um, now, if you are a YouTube user, you can now sign into your account um, and basically view um, your videos, your subscriptions, your channel, and all that stuff. So. We're on the featured page here, and see there the featured videos, and you got most viewed, and I'm signed in at the moment, so if my videos it does take a while to load though, um, but yeah, you can live with it, so that's all right. And up there, as you can see, sign out. So um, I'm signed in as my channel, and as you know, there's all my videos, tells you all the views, um, ratings. You know that, and you click on that arrow there, gives more information, and um, yeah, related videos. Now, another, um, and also you have the search bar there. Um, a really great feature they had, um, with the new, um, on YouTube with the new update is, um, well, you can sort of edit what you can put, what you put down here with the feature to most viewed and all that. Now, this is in other apps, um, such as the music and all that and the iTunes store but this is what it is basically you just go to the more down here and then basically you got all your other stuff such as favorite most recent top rated history subscriptions and pay playlists so if you go up to here to edit this thing comes up and basically um, all this stuff up here which we had just back um, here in the more section you can put down here to the bottom so um for example if I wanted to put um we already got featured most viewed my videos and shirts down there but if I wanted to put um uh just for example my subscriptions down there I'll just drag put it and drag it to there so as you can see there now um it's got featured subscriptions my videos and search so and now um the most viewed is now back up there so um yeah so you can change that around what's down there if you click done then the most viewed is now back up there so yeah you're still getting everything um, just changing around to your personal personal preference now um, the stocks 
does have a new feature as you can see this basically same icon um, basically um, what Apple has said you got now um, landscape view and faster uh, reloading and um, as you can see there if you turn it there you got a new view of the stocks and um, yeah I'm pretty sure you can switch between them and um, yeah so that's another view but with the portrait view it's basically all the same scroll up scroll down and um, yeah. voice memos is something new like I said before you will need the, um, the mic the earphones with the microphone basically all it is you can record like stuff of your own voice like for reminders or even just for fun so you plug in um, the headphones normally down there and um, you click record over there just shows the how high your voice is and then you'd go here to see all the ones you've recorded which I have none and you can play, share, or delete, share, you can put on um, Facebook, send in emails, whoops, I'm just on my iPod and um, yes yeah, so that's basically voice memos, pretty handy, lots of fun so um, yeah notes um, now with notes there's a couple of new things same icon um, you can now sync notes from your computer in the on your iTunes on the computer um, go to the more options and um, now you can sync, sync your notes um, it also this also comes along with um, oh yeah and notes also has landscape view now oh yeah no, and now the whole new feature with this um, version is now you have cut copy and paste so um yeah for example hold right some gibberish note you see there or something random now um, from what I believe you just hold down there for a second and it says select select all or paste I'm just gonna go to select all and it comes out with cut copy or paste so it's selected that whole bit as you can see there now I'm gonna do cut and um, yeah I'll scroll down to here Whoop. turn yep scroll down to there hold down for a second and as you see there it says paste so I'm gonna do paste and as you can see it's come up there again so that's a really handy feature so, um, really you can't be bothered typing what you've just done again so um yeah the new one of our new features is co copy and paste which is really handy another reason to upgrade really um, settings if you go to settings you got a whole new thing um, we got up here new notifications yeah in general the new oh yeah, another great feature with this new um, update is you do have Bluetooth you can connect to um, stereos you got at home stereos in the car um, phones and Bluetooth headsets so it's a really handy feature especially for the iPhone but um yeah it's same really Bluetooth on or off um, one is on at the moment and see the little icon up there maybe not too sure if you can see that but there's the icon up there um, on and off devices searching um, probably won't find any um, auto lock passcode restrictions some extra features like home like when you double click the home button what do you want to come up do you want that search thing I showed you for to come up iPod meaning your music to come up or your home screen to come up so yeah it's more customized and um yeah now then you just got new features in the um, iTunes and App Store you can now log in to your um, accounts Safari basically the same except um, it has fraud warning this time um, mail contacts and calendar basically the same push notifications and yeah it's all the same really but some really handy great features I really 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 recommend um, upgrading to the new 3.0, 3.1, 3.1.2 whatever software for your iPhone or iPod Touch because it's great um, it also has something I didn't mention um, MMS for the iPhone so um, yeah that should be really good and um, yeah guys that's basically it sorry I, I could have gone through more but I've run out of time so if you like this video please rate comment and subscribe thanks